Wine bars are all the rage in Yerevan, the world's oldest capital. The ancestral custom of enjoying wine is making a big comeback. I think that establishments like ours are important for the popularization of Armenian wine and winemaking. In 2015, three friends pooled their resources to open Wine Republic, a wine shop and restaurant in the heart of the city, where people can meet, eat fresh seafood, and drink wine. At first, we approached the whole thing as a hobby, a place that we ourselves would want to go. Soon, the restaurant became a hot spot. The young partners expanded the space, the restaurant's menu, and, most importantly, their wine selection. We now offer more than 600 wines from throughout the world, but I'm delighted to say that our top sellers are Armenian wines. It was only three or four years ago that Armenian wines began to become confident enough to appear alongside French and Italian wines. After all, Armenia has a 6,000-year-old history of winemaking. Last year alone, a few thousand bottles of Armenian wines were uncorked in this small restaurant. Our sales of Armenian wines have tripled, bringing in between 8 and 10 million drums. Often, Wine Republic gives local winemakers the chance to launch new labels through the restaurant. By working with Armenian winemakers and featuring their labels at our restaurant, we help introduce them to the market. One such label is Zara Wines, which became a local hit as well as an international sensation right after making its appearance in the wine racks of the restaurant. In 2015, the Zara clothing brand sued Zaruhi Muradyan for trademark infringement. This clothing giant claimed that the Armenian company had misappropriated its name. After a lengthy and complicated legal battle, the court ruled in favor of Muradyan. We showed them that I have the right to use my own name as the brand of my wine products. The lawsuit was the first major business-related hurdle to face the young winemaker. Today, Zaruhi is the only female winemaker in Armenia to have her own name on her wine label. Her company's initial winemaking experimentations were performed in this lab. A year later, 6,000 bottles bearing the Zara label entered the Armenian market. Zaruhi is also one of the founders of the Yerevan Wine Academy. It's the only institution in Armenia where aspiring vintners can learn the secrets of Armenian winemaking and the skills they need to start a wine business. Our first group of students graduated in 2016. All 14 of them now work in the wine industry. The Yerevan Wine Academy is also credited with creating nationwide interest in going into winemaking. Winemaking is experiencing a renaissance in Armenia, and we're also very happy that Armenians have started to become wine connoisseurs. Today, more than 40 Armenian wine brands, including over 80 local varietals, can be found in restaurants and bars in Armenia. Only a few years ago, there was only a handful of good Armenian wines. But now, thanks to the great work of local winemakers, the market has been transformed. If Italians are known for pizza, Greeks for their salad, Americans for burgers, and Russians for vodka, then the world's first Christian nation, which equates red wine with the blood of Christ, has found the ideal beverage to be associated with in the 21st century.
The combination of wine and good food is the stuff of great memories.